on Bear Grylls. And I'm gonna seek out some of the most extreme challenges in the most dangerous places on Earth, where having the right survival skills can mean the difference between life and death. Omelette Bear Grylls. Today, I'm gonna to venture forth in North Carolina to see about the challenges of beachfront living. It could get dangerous, it could get sweltering, but I must remind you, I am a survival expert and I will only be taking along Bob camera microphone. Oh! Hello! Oh, yes. Sorry, we're in the middle of filming a survival show again. Did you pack your sunscreen? I, I don't need sunscreen, I'm Lego Bear Grylls. Oh! Okay! Bye! Anyways, today we venture forth out to the beachy sands of North Carolina. Oh dear. Alright, I found myself near in some sort of food area. Could survive in this area for days. All sorts of vital nourishment here. Perhaps I should try and eat some before I venture forth before I oh dear. Oh, it's cheesy. Ah, I found myself some of the natives. In any survival situation, it's very important to try and communicate with the natives of the area, who at this point they seem somewhat hostile. Hello. Excuse me. I've just fallen into a vat of cheese balls. Can you tell me how to survive? Oh dear. Ah. Uh, they seem somewhat unresponsive. This will be oh. Time for a British break. Hi. Leveraging Lego Salesman here with another offer that'll get you moving, just like liver through your esophagus. Yes, today we look at trucking. Everything in this country gets moved by trucks. Eggs, cows, meat, and beans. That's why you need this. Is that what you say? No, you don't need this. Look at this thing. It's tiny. It's puny. The tires are so small in it. I mean, if it is a blowout, it could kill you. <laughs> yes, that is why the true trucker needs something bigger, better, more fluorescent. Yes, why pollute when you could commute or the other way around? Yes, look at this thing. It has a front. It has a back. It's so big it's pushing me out of the screen. It's got a cow catcher on it in case the cows don't get out of your way. And when they hit it, kapooey! Oh, it's perfect. Call the number on your screen right now to buy this truck. I'll be in it. So long now. Goodbye. Bye. Ooh, cow. And welcome back. Luckily, I've survived that. And now, as you can see, I've prepared myself a parachute, which, as uh, my producer has helped me, I've gotten ready for me a bit earlier gonna try now to jump down to safety and uh, see what I can do from there. All right. Oh, poop. Well, I'm feeling pretty warm right now. Got to find a way to cool myself down. Gonna try and get away from this area, get away to the ocean source, which should be close by. Uh, after I ditch this parachute. All right, let's go. Oh. All right, I've improvised myself a boat. Going to try and float across now to get to the ocean area. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I'm on the boat now. Going to float across here. Notice the crystal water, which is often a sign of a pool. Uh, this should be nice and calm, though, except, well, you know, in these areas, there are times you've got to ask for those depth charges. Oh! Can we just hit the button to turn the camera off now? Using my extensive survival knowledge, I've determined that might not have been the correct way to get to the ocean. But that's alright, because I'm Bear Grylls. Or Bear Bear Grylls. And we're going to go right now. myself an improvised shelter with a little bit of assistance that is. Ah, oh, gotta be careful for cave-ins, especially this time of day. Oh poop. Alright, I've gotten myself right down by the water now. Gotta be careful of waves that are coming in, but that's okay. I'm gonna try and build a boat and get out of here. Only thing got out for is
Omega Bear Grills. If you enjoyed today's adventure, you can see more of me on youtube.com slash inverted milkshake. If you don't, you probably live under a rock. Oh. Oh, get a load of them precious gems. I'm on a skateboard.